Razem z ekipą oraz stroną CSGO Watson zorganizowaliśmy dla Was giveaway na kostkę Bayonet Marble Fade wartą 350 dolarów, także wbijaj pierwszy link w opisie, a może to właśnie Ty zgarniesz tą piękną kostkę. A Ty, jeżeli chcesz wygrać skina przedstawionego na ekranie, zasubskrybuj kanał razem z dzwoneczkiem, polub ten materiał, polub Face oraz napisz komentarz z godziną, o której oglądasz ten materiał. Jeżeli dobijecie tutaj 1000 łapek w górę, to z automatu wrzucam dla Was kolejny materiał już jutro. I dodatkowo, jeżeli chcecie zgarnąć darmowe 20 dolarów w skinach, to wbijaj drugi link w opisie, możesz także wziąć udział w giveaway o 10 kostajger tut. Gorąco polecam i zapraszam. Jak? Well, they're going to go for the play. Let's see what they can achieve on this pistol round as they try and burst their way out. Near with the first, takes down Magic. Sklave will respond through, but Pasha gets the extra little bit of edge. Dupree, though, can be so critical from this angle. And look, Dupree plays it smart. He knows they didn't know where he was. Plays with trigger discipline, finds the frag on the cube. Bayali tries to go in to trade it back. It's a bit of an awkward confrontation, but he does eventually do it. It's a 1v2 now. Bayali, so low, but still finds the frag on towards the vice. Will get the plant as well. Zipnix, 1v1. Bayali. So he got two HP and a P250. Trying to go for this peak, as you can see, he wants to try and connect that one tap with a headshot. Connect it with a P250. Spy and Pasha. Staying a bit too long in the Molotovs. Will eventually be taken down through the flames. Five us four then. Actually, one of the AKs, one of the three AKs already dropped. So maybe Nia could maybe try and retrieve that one. Here it comes, an execution towards the A side. It's all down to this here. Still the play advantage at the back of the Molotovs, but can VP pull through? Oh, Magis. Spots up the head of snacks there, so already two frags going their way. More and more to be done. Match. Estrada, so gathering the troops here, they're ready for this one. Yeah. There you go. That signals it. Now they know the push is coming through. Nice use of a Molotov there as well. They're going to be so low, it should be easy. Frags coming through. Dupree is downed. The Zipnix just goes huge. He starts to get a little bit excited there. Being able to find the first two frags. Grave as well. Coming through back on towards snacks. By Ali is down. It's just Pasha biceps left. And Expecting and anticipating VP's next move, and it paid off for them. Through the smoke, Dupree gets karma for what Misha did to him earlier. Five versus four, and again, the Danes have the advantage. Yeah, that's true. Deadly as ever as good old Dupree, but Neo starts to try and be a bit naughty as well. He wants to cause some ruckus, cause some issues, but instead, Magis gets the double kill. Magis on the ball into this matchup. He's been able to find so many beautiful kills with this M4, and he's still looking for more, causing the ruckus as he brings the pain, chops him down. Extinguishes the smoke, gonna allow for the aggression in towards top middle. Magic's boy finds one. Fast reply there from Neo. Glaive. Lying in wait here. Pasha. He's gonna be the one test in the waters. He is the front line. Katrina gotta get a read. He spots him out, but it's far too late. Luckily, by Ali can bludge him as he responds with the AK. Annihilates the second man as well as device is demolished. Dupree. He arrives over trying to decimate by Ali now as he fires off the first warning shot, but couldn't quite connect it. He's still got a minute on the clock, Snods, as the bomb is on the scene. How about it? A sight, but do they realize there is a defense lying in wait? Miku, he goes down instantly. Pasha's the only one who actually stay alive and kick it, but not for long. He's short lived, executed by Magix. Magix just blowing him all to bits. It's all up to Snacks now. He's got to try and stay alive and topple them. Peeks up, goes for a couple of frags as he bobs and weaves with the USP, trying to connect those shots, but he can't quite muster it. Looks like he will oh, fall short. Device go for the knife as well. Snacks barely able to keep himself alive and kick it into this one as he. Roams around, Snods, with the USP, looking for these frags. The 1v3, they triple peek towards him, and he goes down like... Let's try and see if this is going to work out well for Miku. Barely just under his cross, but he finds the frag, Snods gets the kill. That's phenomenal. Huge play there from Miku. Cheeky stuff. Now for Pasha as well. Hearing tons of noise, but Dupree... With Miku, all the way in towards T-Spawn, lights the head up already of Magic Spot. Molotov comes out, which means... Astralis cannot trade the frag, instead they can walk out towards ramp. Viali, under balcony, famous for this position, finds one, Dupree in towards John. The weeds grabs the bomb, realizes they're close by on the site and tries to take the firefight, but look how low he is in terms of time. VP, it's the fact that Astralis are going to be rushing their way through in towards the B side, which is completely barren. Yeah, this is true. This is going to be where the true attack lies towards as they burst their way out over at B, trying to cause some ruckus and wreak havoc against that CT side. They've got side control, but they still have so much time. So the bomb hasn't had to go down just yet. Ooh, Dupree finds that kill as he blows the toes off a of Pasha, throws the bomb back as well. And he's still on the hunt trying to find some more. Pop flash goes out. Dupree goes for the face, tries to get the first, but instead it's going to be a discount kill going the way of Ayali. Bomb dropped in the open angle. Device, Sipnix in the two versus three. Device finds the head there. Moving the body shot, apologies. Onto Snacks. Has to be wary as well, the flank from behind. Oh, actually planted a little bit too exposed, but Neo stays crouched. Yeah, Neo. So 1v2 finds the head of Zipnix. 
but double the players, but they have. Starved for info. I'm struggling to work out what exactly is going on. Look at this play. As Dupree just sprints in, playing with confidence as ever. But he falls short by Ali. We'll tackle him. More to be done, though. Zipnix trades on Neo. Snacks comes through as he slaps down Magix, leaving it an advantage for the Virtus Pro side. Can the Polish team now outpower and topple the defense of this post plant play from Astralis here? Zipnix on the face towards CT. Normally you'd find that frag, but Snacks is able to win it out. Device, though, up top might have just sealed the deal, Snods. Two quick frags, and look at this. Glaive on the full rotation. A mighty play as he gets in. Just lying in wait. Has complete vision, Ooh. but he can't quite spot out the ball. Imagine. Astralis were 14 to 4 up. 10 round advantage, and they're starting to let that advantage slowly dwindle away. But still, you know, Eco now, once again, Zipnix, one versus five, has Kevlar CZ, but gonna be easily dispatched by Neo. Zipnix alone towards Palace, and then the Wolf Pack towards middle. Ho oh, ho! Neo then pushes through the connector smoke, isolates Glaive, but Dupree with a fast trade frag onto his comrade. So four versus four now. This is when things get interesting, Jack. It is the 4v4. The numbers may be equal. And Pasha wants to get the advantage in the favor of VP. Finds one once again, device with the trade. And now three versus three, all down to Biali. Biali comes through with that frag on towards the vice. Zipnix as well, though, trades it back. And this is where it's just a 2v2 snod. It's all to play for, but look how low they are on Astralis. Miku, sure, he's getting tagged up, but Miku, he couldn't find the frag. It's all on Snacks. He's got to snipe him down. He has to just eradicate him with the AWP. He goes for the peak. It's a 1v1 now. And the will to win this one for his team, Magisk. Holding in position, just waiting for the frag to come towards him. No Snacks way. finds it. He keeps VP alive for another round. AWP for device, four AKs for Astralis. Double AWP still not going to be coming out now for Virtus Pro. For Pasha. And for Snacks, but unfortunately for VP, Pasha already taken out of the equation. One man advantage now for Astralis as they're going to be bombarding their way through. Yeah, and this is the fact. Once you get device on the AWP, you know exactly what he's going to do. He's ripped you to pieces as he comes through with two huge frags there. There's a response as well. Glaive on towards Miku, and this could be it, Snods. This should be Astralis taking it now in a 16 to 13 fashion. VP, they kept themselves alive, but maybe Ooh. they've only been delaying the inevitable. Snacks, though, if he could have got the second frag on device, maybe it was winnable now. It seems like that chance has gone out of the window. Neo, left in a 1v4. Astralis swarm the V-bomb site. Device finds the kill, and all off the back of device. A 4K, a 6 It was Banana. But let's see. Play towards Bodo here from Astralis. Oh, Pasha, two frags already into this one as he gets two. Magis the only one that's going to be able to pistol whip him back down. Magis as well actually keeps it going through. Magis is on a mad one, Snods. Yeah, there's no reason really to face. Time's ticking down. They don't have the kit. And now they don't have Neo either by Ali on the scene of the crime. Let's push around. Neo kicks out. Oh, the timing's awkward though, Snods. He gets caught with his pants around his ankles, fumbling with grenades. As he will be assassinated by Zipnix. You also get the read there. Where Device just hiding, lying in wait by the tree. He'll eventually get that kill on towards Snacks as he played it so stealthily. More and more frags in the way of Astralis. Sure, they're all low. They've all been dented into the round, but they're surviving. And they're making this. Both the oranges. Okay. All right. Well, enough of that. Let's see what Mihu can do. Well, oh, straight in. Miku with one. Snacks with a snip snapshot, though. As he is able to respond on towards Magix there. The bomb gets recovered. The smoke goes down to walk off the angle. But Snacks just goes in anyway. As he strikes against Zipnik Snods, and this might be it. The first round could be on the cards now for Virtus Pro. Dupree has to try focus on the part, but Snacks, he's playing with confidence right now. He's a lunatic. As he dives around, finds the kill on Dupree. Device is trapped between a rock. Two IM Sid. That's very true. Yeah, once again, banana control. Ooh, or not. Ooh, Miku. Gets the first kill, Snods, as he does go for that extension round. Snacks again with the Orc doing more, but it's all up to Glaive now. However, these signs are going to play it out now as we really get into the late stages of the first half. Device with the initial kill on Snacks, but Miku hammers back through. Miku, he tried to get a little bit more through it, though. Wanted more bang for his buck, and Magisk in the pace. Well, they detected Glaive there. They know where he is. Smart from Miku, obviously, get the Molotov down. There's not enough time, so Glaive will be made quite crispy. Magisk with a trade back, though. Gets the first kill, and he's hungry for more. He's pushing straight through. Snacks. He'll be falling off. The site is open. He's conceded the defense. Magic straight in, bypasses him. Doesn't know his location. This could be awkward, as they will get round. The bomb's going to be grabbed. This forces an over-rotate towards the B bomb site. Pasha falls to Magis, and in reality, it's going to be attack on the A site snods. As Astralis have lined up everything for this. The stars have aligned. Let's see if they can get success. Get this round off the back of his massive shoulders. No.
If they lose this one, Astralis with a massive advantage, but already an advantage into this round itself. Device with the first, lines it up as well. The Flayers are so blind from VP as they walk into the blender, leaving just Pasha last alive. Yeah, Device and Dupree always deadly as more strikes of HEs going off towards mid there, and they're so weak now. They're going to be supple and easy to finish off with this MP9 as it's a big spray oh. down from Device. VP actually going to try and go for it through Speedway, down for a wrap on the B bomb site. Device with an uncharacteristic miss, Ooh. and a further one as by Ali bludgeons him, strikes with the AK. Magis comes into a Fechomiku. But that is about it so far for the CT. Zipnix and Glaive heavily focused as they tunnel vision in towards the two Ts coming from CT site. But there's the response from Pasha. He's able to hit him with the elbow. Takes down Zipnix. Site control has been taken. It's a 2v2 now and a retake scenario for Astralis. Two versus two. Both players here from the CT side coming in for the, the retake through Banana. As they get split out now, they can play the after plump positions. Pasha, Bayali versus Magix Boy Dupree. Diffuse kit for the CT side. Flashbang as well. Still in the arsenal for Dupree. But Bayali wins the first duel. Dupree spots out Pasha's head. And now the one versus one does ensue. They know it's for Astralis. Flash coming in towards second mid. And Dupree could be lying up some Virtus Pro players. Oh, ironically, lighting himself up instead. The Molotov will finish him off. But Device, instant refrag there. Oh, actually. Mia will pick up that gun, and it's all just a bait, it's all a ruse, as Mihu catches Device, who was so gazed upon T-Stairs. Yeah, so focused in Tunnel Vision. Magis could actually be the saving grace, but instead he falls, losing out on that duel towards Snacks. Now it's really in the face. The execution has to be perfect. Well, there goes the smokes. The push comes round, Zipnix with the first and the second somehow. He might be at Half-Life, but he's still fighting through them. But eventually, two frags go back in favor of the T side, but Magis Boy trying to do a bit of a Magis trick there as he peeks out, tags them up. Another frag being picked up by him. Dupree as well with a backstab on. Once again, going to be going in their favor. Dupree gets the kill on Snack Snod, so that's not a great start for the VP side already as Astralis getting themselves closer and closer as the time ticks down towards getting themselves a spot. I am Sydney. There's the response from Pasha, though. Deeg's down, but all of a sudden, it was just two remaining members on the side of Virtus Pro by Ali and Miku. They can recover the bomb, sure. They're going to have to put all their eggs in one basket and assault that B bomb site in device. He wants to end it sooner rather than later as he goes for the contact face down with the AWP. Gets the first kill. It's just left on by Ali. By Ali will kill him with the CZ, but he's still going to find three more frags. Switches out to an M4. 12 bullets, though. Needs to go for the reload first before he extends out. Chucks down the frag. Try